Chapter 2 The Lord in his anger has cast a dark shadow over Jerusalem. The fairest of Israel's cities lies in the dust, thrown down from the heights of heaven. In his day of awesome fury the Lord has shown no mercy even to his temple. Without mercy the Lord has destroyed every home in Israel. In his anger he has broken down the fortress walls of Jerusalem. He has brought to dust the kingdom and all its rulers. All the strength of Israel vanishes beneath his fury. The Lord has withdrawn his protection as the enemy attacks. He consumes the whole land of Israel like a raging fire. He bends his bow against his people as though he were their enemy. His strength is used against them to kill their finest youth. His fury is poured out like fire on beautiful Jerusalem. Yes, the Lord has vanquished Israel like an enemy. He has destroyed her forts and palaces. He has brought unending sorrow and tears to Jerusalem. He has broken down his temple as though it were merely a garden shelter. The Lord has blotted out all memory of the holy festivals and Sabbath days. Kings and priests fall together before his anger. The Lord has rejected his own altar. He despises his own sanctuary. He has given Jerusalem's palaces to her enemies. They shout in the Lord's temple as though it were a day of celebration. The Lord was determined to destroy the walls of Jerusalem. He made careful plans for their destruction. Then he went ahead and did it. Therefore the ramparts and walls have fallen down before him. Jerusalem's gates have sunk into the ground. All their locks and bars are destroyed, for he has smashed them. Her kings and princes have been exiled to distant lands. The law is no more. Her prophets receive no more visions from the Lord. The leaders of Jerusalem sit on the ground in silence, clothed in sackcloth. They throw dust on their heads in sorrow and despair. The young women of Jerusalem hang their heads in shame. I have cried until the tears no longer come. My heart is broken. My spirit poured out as I see what has happened to my people. Little children and tiny babies are fainting and dying in the streets. Mama, we want food, they cry, and then collapse in their mother's arms. Their lives ebb away like the life of a warrior wounded in battle. In all the world has there ever been such sorrow. O daughter of Jerusalem, to what can I compare your anguish? O virgin daughter of Zion, how can I comfort you? For your wound is as deep as the sea. Who can heal you? Your prophets have said so many foolish things, false to the core. They did not try to hold you back from exile by pointing out your sins. Instead, they painted false pictures, filling you with false hope. All who pass by jeer at you. They scoff and insult Jerusalem, saying, Is this the city called most beautiful in all the world, and joy of all the earth? All your enemies deride you. They scoff and grind their teeth, and say, We have destroyed her at last. Long have we awaited this day, and it is finally here. But it is the Lord who did it, just as he warned. He has fulfilled the promises of disaster he made long ago. He has destroyed Jerusalem without mercy, and caused her enemies to rejoice over her and boast of their power. Cry aloud before the Lord, O walls of Jerusalem. Let your tears flow like a river. Give yourselves no rest from weeping day or night. Rise during the night and cry out. Pour out your hearts like water to the Lord. Lift up your hands to Him in prayer. Plead for your children as they faint with hunger in the streets. O Lord, think about this, Jerusalem cries. You are doing this to your own people. Should mothers eat their little children, those they once bounced on their knees? Should priests and prophets die within the Lord's temple? See them lying in the streets, young and old, boys and girls, killed by the swords of the enemy. You have killed them in your anger, slaughtering them without mercy. You have invited terrors from all around, as though you were calling them to a day of feasting. In the day of the Lord's anger, no one has escaped or survived. The enemy has killed all the children I bore and raised.